Well, hello, well, hello everybody. It is Saturday morning and um, we are coming to you from Mrs. Monica's uh, house again. Um, so today I was kind of looking out the window today and realizing that today um, would technically be our first day um, heading into spring break. And, and outside it just looks so springy. Well, maybe this is how the characters in our book celebrate spring break. Um, the book I picked today, um, for all you McCardle Mustang kiddos out there, I'm always getting asked, where are the Dumb Bunnies books? Um, and in the whole time I've been working in the library, I have never once read one of the Dumb Bunnies books. So I thought going into this spring break where um, things are a little different, um, I thought I would read to you guys our book today, The Dumb Bunnies Easter. So let's check it out. This is by Dave Pilkey and Dumb Bunnies Easter. All right. It was December 24th and the dumb bunnies were getting ready for Easter. Check it out. The house says Merry Halloween. Mama Bunny was stuffing the turkey. Papa Bunny was nailing up the valentines. Strange to do on Easter, huh? And Baby Bunny was giving eggnog to a merry group of carolers. That's my boy, said Papa Bunny. Soon it was time for Papa Bunny to go and pick out an Easter tree. So he put on his winter clothes and got ready to leave. Do you like his winter clothes? <laughs> Can I help you pick the Easter tree? Asked Baby Bunny. I'm very good at picking things. I can see that, said Papa Bunny. Do you like it? Silly Baby Bunny. So Papa and Baby Bunny went out and found a wonderful tree. It was right in their neighbor's front yard. Papa Bunny took out his saw and chopped down the tree. Chop, chop, chop. Then Papa Bunny carried the Easter tree home and Baby Bunny helped a little. Now you'll notice that the trees in our picture are not green. Um, you remember that our background here, I told you before, what I'm seeing is a green screen. And so when I hold up the book, anything that's green in there actually disappears. And I thought I was just going to leave it that way today because it's kind of fitting for our book, The Dumb Bunnies. So later, Papa and Baby Bunny put up the tree while Mama Bunny brought down three big boxes from the basement. Now comes the fun part, said Mama Bunny. I get to put on the lights, said Papa Bunny. I get to put on the ornaments, said Mama Bunny, and I get to put on the tinsel, said Baby Bunny. There's our see-through trees again. So they did. Check it out. They literally put it on. <laughs> then it was time for Thanksgiving dinner, and everyone pitched in to help. Papa Bunny carved the turkey, Mama Bunny tossed the salad, and Baby Bunny cut the cheese. That's my boy, said Papa Bunny. See how they did it? Actually, I think I like Papa uh, Bunny's the best. I love the way he carved the turkey. After supper, it was time for the bunnies to celebrate their dumb holiday traditions. First, they painted Easter eggs. Oops. Interesting choice of how to paint them. Then they watched a little football on the TV. You see how they're watching the football? <laughs> and finally, they ran to the fireplace to hang up their stockings. Maybe we should have taken our stockings off first, said Mama Bunny. They hung themselves right up. All night long, the dumb bunnies hung around and talked about the true meaning of Easter. I hope the Easter Bunny brings me a million dollars, said Mama Bunny. 
Oh, yeah, said Papa Bunny. Well, I hope the Easter Bunny brings me a thousand dollars. I hope the Easter Bunny brings me a balloon, said Baby Bunny. Now, don't be greedy, said Mama and Papa Bunny. Sorry, said Baby Bunny. I think that's funny that he shouldn't be greedy, but Baby Bunny asked for the least. <laughs> Dumb bunnies. That night, while they slept, the Easter Bunny came in a shiny red minivan, pulled by eight flying pilgrims. <sighs> the Easter Bunny gathered up dozens of the most beautiful eggs he had and dropped them down the chimney. Ho, ho, ho! Look out below! The next morning, the dumb bunnies were thrilled to see what the Easter Bunny had brought them. They had to admit that this was the most terrible Easter they had ever had. And they hoped their next Easter would be even worse. Kind of funny, huh? The end. So even though this wasn't the Easter they had planned on, it was the worst. They still had each other. They still had family. So going into our spring break right now, um, celebrate, um, just celebrate the things you do have. Love your family, love who you're with. Um, it's definitely a different spring break, but um, we're all going to make the most of it. If you caught my story yesterday, we talked about just pushing through. So find fun things to do this week. Um, have fun. Don't forget to come back on Monday and check into Mrs. Monica's library on YouTube. Um, next week, I've got a couple of uh, spring Easter books I'm going to read to you. have a brand new book that I was planning on reading in the library next uh, this week. But um, since we didn't get a chance, I'm going to bring it to you here. So make sure you tune in. Mrs. Monica's library on YouTube. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you Monday.